So recently, I'm working on Beethoven Sonata Opus 109, and then I feel the first phrase is pretty interesting. So let me play a little bit. Okay, so we can see that it's descending and then very smooth chord progression. So um, let's change a very clear one. Okay. So why Beethoven composed like this? So I think we can get some idea from Schenker's analysis. So in Schenker's analysis, he wanted to show the background structure of the music. So we can see here, the basic chord structure is one, five, one. So this is in E major, sorry. So this is one, five, and one. Okay, and then what's going on between the one to this five? So let me play the notes together. So after I play together, we can hear really clear that is that this phrase has a descending linear progression. So um, the top voice answers the bass line by voice exchange. And if we um, line those same notes together, we will have B, D sharp, G sharp, B, E, G sharp. So what's the relationship between those notes? So we can see this is a third, a third, and a third. So this is a third progression. Okay. And um, so I think the whole phrase is a leading progression. All the chord, all the chords leading to the E major at the end of the phrase. And then it's a prolongation to the last chord, E major. 